It's one of the most embarrassing things to sit there and hear so much praise about yourself. But Mrs. Nita Ambani, distinguished faculty members, members on the dais, Mr. Mukesh Ambani, students, ladies and gentlemen, parents. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be invited here today on the occasion of the graduation day of this most prestigious institution. My congratulations, therefore, to all of you, graduates, and all my good wishes to you for the future. During the interactions with Mrs. Amani on the protocol of today's function, I noticed that, and also while she was giving her speech, that she always referred to the students as her children, which led me to think that the child is the dream of its parent, a dream that the parent lives. If you want to learn how to live your dream, just watch your parents, see how it works for them. But that's how it works for all of us. With caring, with passion, with resolve, with commitment, and with determination. That's the easy part. The tough one comes later. The tough part is when you and your dream cannot be distinguished. When you become the dream, dream of not just your parents or yourself, but a point in the journey where you become the dream of a nation, when you become the dream of the choices you made, when your vision echoes in millions of resonating voices across the world, from where there is no looking back, you are the dream. Today, as you stand on this formative threshold from where you, you look forward to making those dreams come alive, your parents look upon you with prayers, your teachers look up to you with pride, and the nation looks up to you with hope. That is the strength, the power of a dream. And today it is yours. Grab it with all your courage and make it happen. There can be times when it will be or feel impossible to perform. It may feel like a fairy tale. No one said that life is easy. But never be shaken by its adversities. A dream, a vision is not an intangible, unreal, imaginary piece of fiction. A dream has hands, it has feet, it has a body, your hands, your feet, your body. The dream is you, and you are the dream. May the two always remain united in spirit. And if that means a struggle, if that means a fight to finish, so be it. It's not about winning or losing. It's about living a life. If I had been a sportsman, a boxer, athlete, hockey player, cricketer, if I had joined the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force, if I had been anything else other than an actor, my parents would still have been happy because I was their dream, no matter what I myself was dreaming to be. Gandhiji said, and the speaker here, the head boys talked about change. He said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. If I were to add my feelings to it, I'd say, be the dream that you wish to see in the world. So, <laughs> so live a dream. A dream which is neither mine nor yours nor anyone else's. A dream which belongs only to itself. What you bring to the world are the blessings of your parents, learnings of your teachers, and your dreams. They are precious. Do not trade them for anything in the world. Which brings us to a curious word that has become a part of some kind of jargon. It's a word called career. I'm not quite sure I quite like this word, career. Career is literally a dash of speed, like a horse does 
on a racetrack, bolting at uncontrollable speed without an aim or an objective. Life is not a race course. Life is an order, a discipline. Life is a focus. Life is a purpose, a purpose achieved by virtues which are developed with personal effort. Do not gamble on life. It may not happen twice. A dream, therefore, is much more than a career. The dreams of the parents and the dreams of the child live in one place, remember. That place is called home. Not yours, not mine, not his, not hers. No one person's. A home is always ours, our home. Our dream is our worship. Our vision is our prayer. This is the structure of dreams. This is the bond. This is also the bondage, a bond of love, the bondage of responsibility, be that of a small family or that of a large nation. In the world beyond these walls, fortunes will come and go, money will come and go, but a good education can never be taken away once it has been possessed. We are because we dare to dream. We are because we learn to excel.